If you use Ecamm Live and have ever found yourself in a situation where suddenly there's an extra window on screen with your Ecamm Live output and you didn't know where it came from, how to uh, get it rid of it or how to get it back again if you wanted it back on the screen. Uh, this is what we're talking about today and it is called the Ecamm Live program window. There are a few settings that you might be interested to know about this and so that's what I'm going to be talking about. But before I do, let me just make perfectly clear exactly what it is I'm talking about. So here we are on my desktop. I've got my regular Ecamm window. Window, the one that I'm in, hello, in this little box. <laughs> That's the Ecamm Live main window with all the controls on it. Uh, just down below, we've got some of the Ecamm Live utility windows for scenes, overlays, things like that, as you may well have on your desktop. Um, and then we've also got a, uh, over on the <laughs> that side, the right hand side, we've got a Safari window that I potentially might want to be sharing in a scene. And what I'm talking about is sometimes you can be clicking around and then suddenly uh, this window, like that one just down there, appears. <laughs> um, and that is the Ecamm Live program window. Uh, and this often sort of catches people out and they think, uh, what is this? Where did it come from? And uh, how do I get rid of it? Because sometimes it can be a bit of a, a distraction, especially if it's massive like this over the top of everything. Some people will just say, oh, just make it really small and you can just tuck it away out of the way somewhere, um, which is uh, one approach to doing it. Uh, so let me just explain, first of all, what the idea behind this is. Uh, you'll notice that it does float above everything. Uh, so what that means is if you are short of space, for example, on your desktop, let's say that uh, I wanted to show this as a really big web page, it's now covering all of the Ecamm stuff up that uh, that says um, uh, beneath it. Uh, however, this program window is kind of like a floating window. So you could always tuck that somewhere out of the way um, just so that you can keep an eye on what is going on. Um, it doesn't go out in the uh, the output. So if you are, unless you're doing demo mode as I'm doing, but if you're doing screen sharing, it wouldn't show up and it wouldn't show up if you were sharing the specific uh, uh, web page or application or whatever it was you were sharing. And the other thing about it is it does actually have some controls on it. So you can actually finish your uh, live stream or recording uh, from here, it's got a finish button just as you have on the main window as well. Uh, and it's also got a couple of uh, controls up here replicating what you've got on the uh, the main one. So to switch between the scene source being camera uh, screen sharing or a movie source. Uh, personally, I don't recommend using scene sources in this way. I tend to build out all of my scenes from uh, a blank and then just add in all the overlays for camera overlays, screen sharing overlays and things like that as required. However, you, you can just do that from there if that's the way that you happen to work with Ecamm. You've also got this little arrow here, this little drop down where you can actually change scenes. So you can actually change scenes from here uh, rather than doing it from the scenes window. I know that a lot of people these days really just uh, all in on Stream Deck and things like that or just using the uh, number keys which you can also use for switching scenes as well. Um, but just in case you are someone who is used to coming up to the uh, main window here and actually switching scenes that way, you can do it uh, like that too, uh, just in this uh, program window. So that's the idea of this, is it's supposed to sort of simulate the main window to a certain point, but it is a sort of floating one that can fit over the top if you do still need to keep an eye on uh, your output um, whilst you are sharing something that is taking up a lot of the screen potentially. Um, the way that this is set to a default is that um, if you're in the main application or if you're in Ecamm Live, I should say, if you click into any other application, uh, then this will tend to pop up whilst you are recording. So it doesn't do it whilst you are not recording. If you're just generally using Ecamm Live, it's when you start recording or start live streaming that it will pop up. And that's why it can sometimes take people by surprise because suddenly they've got everything set up. They've got, you know, tried everything out. They've done little dry runs and things like that. And then they come to do the first recording or live stream uh, and then it pops up when they go and click into some other application. I've noticed this catching people out before. So the way to uh, resolve this, if uh, it's something that you don't particularly want, personally, the way I lay things out, I always have, you know, I can always see my actual main Ecamm window here rather than needing this one in particular. Um, so, but it just depends on how much sort of screen space you've got. Um, but it's just a setting in the preferences. So if I come over to the Ecamm preferences, and just come into the general, uh, it's this one here. So uh, third one down, first page of the settings, show program window while in other apps. Uh, show an Ecamm Live program window whenever Ecamm is broadcasting or recording and not the active app. So that is the uh, crucial thing there. It's when you are using recording or streaming and you just click into any other particular app or even if you click onto the desktop as well, it will do it as well. Um, so if you don't want to use that particular feature, you can toggle this one off uh, and then it will miraculously uh, 
disappear and uh, rather not appear uh, when you're listing it, least expecting it. But how about if you do still want to use it sometimes? Well, we can still access it uh, and we can access it from the window menu um, if we are in the right application. So if I'll try that again, <laughs> make sure you're in Ecamm Live and then come to the window menu uh, and then you'll find it down here. It is this one, the program window. Uh, and if you activate it from here, um, then that will be just permanently active. So now Ecamm is still my active application, um, but this is also just uh, permanently on the screen then until I decide to dismiss it. So activating it from the window menu, it basically just acts like any other of the utility windows. Uh, so that is uh, that is how you get that one up. So it might be something that you want to use. It might be not, but it might be something that you do want specific control over rather than it just kind of like appearing and disappearing uh, and uh, causing a distraction. <laughs> so I hope that explains it. I do know that this has uh, been something that has baffled a few people in the past. So I hope you found that useful. Um, there's plenty more to learn about Ecamm Live though, and that's all coming up in these videos over on the right-hand side. So I'll see you there.